everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, this is my Great Pyrenees Mala, and in today's video, Mala went to the vet. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. They're both ready to bolt. So, Mello went to the vet. By the time you guys see this, it will be a couple of days after he went to the vet. But we took him to the vet. He did really good. He has no health issues. He's in good shape. He has no heartworm. So, he is 155 pounds. That is what he weighs. He was originally 148 to 150 pounds. So he did gain a couple of pounds, however the vet didn't say he was like overweight or anything. She actually said he carries his weight well, so there's no point in like he doesn't need to lose weight or anything. He just weighs 155 pounds, which is a lot, like it's pretty big for a Great Pyrenees. Normally males only get up to 120 pounds, that's like the average range. So he is like 30 pounds over the average male Great Pyrenees weight. So that was a little like surprising that he actually gained like almost like five to 10 more pounds than when he was last at the vet. She said his teeth looked good. He was very well behaved. Slash went to the vet that day too. He did have to get his rabies vaccine. So we do have his new rabies tag that he got like updated rabies vaccine. And he did have to get a couple of other vaccines that he was due for. So he ended up getting those. She even said that he was out of all the great Pyrenees they see he's by far the best behaved they even have a note on his chart saying that like he's completely good like he's very well trained and stuff so that was nice to hear complimenting our dog he was very relaxed but he was also a little bit stressed while in the room he just gets a little bit like anxious when we go new places and he just burped but so all is good with mellow now with flash flash is good he's perfect um she, we did cut back his food a little bit because he is a little tiny bit overweight, but not by much. She said he's like pretty good just to cut it back a tiny bit. So he did get his food cut back. He also has his rabies vaccines and stuff like so, that. So moving on to Jovial. Jovial's our coon hound. She is a rescue dog. She is pretty good. Um, She does have a little bit of an allergy that we are trying to currently like figure out. She's on pure, the Purina Pro Plan sensitive skin and stomach. And we currently have her, the vet told us to start giving her salmon oil or like fish oil to mix into her food to help with the her like itchy skin and stuff. And then she's also gonna be ha getting like Benadryl to also help with the itchy skin. So that's completely fine. And then she actually has to go back to the vet because she's been having like problems with her butt and stuff but everything else she's like healthy the vet says she's a perfect weight like she even told us that Jovial was like perfect weight and that nothing needed to change with her so overall all the pets are doing very well Jovial got her vaccines and stuff like that so we got a couple things from the vet they actually gave us this um chew toy thing for Jovial and then for Mello we got his, these are a flea prevention, so just to keep him from getting fleas, and he is so big that he gets the 88 to 123, and then he also has to get an extra one, which is 22 to 44 pounds, so he actually gets to get two chews because he's so big. Same with the heart guard, he has to get 51 to 100 pounds, he has to get two of these every time he gets his um, heart guard preventative preventative which is once a month um because he is so big they don't have one that goes to 155 pounds so then for 
Jovial, she got two of these. So we got two boxes of each of these last us six months. These are a 44 to 88 pounds because she is um, 51 pounds. So she had to get that. And then for her like skin allergy thing, she has, we got this Omega-3 supplement. It is like a fish oil that will just be mixed into her food. And then she also has her heart guard, which is the same as the 51 to 100 pounds. So that's all the supplements that they got and like preventatives that we have to give them. If you guys enjoyed this video or if you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time.